Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought that I would vlog today. I haven't vlogged in a couple of weeks and what better time than when I'm about to head out to go get my hair cut. I feel like I haven't gone to get my hair cut without vlogging me going into Manhattan in a very long time. But before I head out, I did want to mention I have been cleaning out my room for the past two days and I came across a bunch of prints that I made with the intention of selling them but I never got around to selling them and I was curious if you guys would be interested if I like set up like an Etsy or something to sell prints of my photographs on. I thought I could do like a test run and try selling just the couple that I have right now, the ones that are already made and packaged and ready to go. And if you guys seem to enjoy purchasing prints of my photographs because I'm very proud of my photography. I mean, there's a photo right up there. And then please excuse the mess on top of my cabinets, but those are both photos that I've taken. I might have small prints of that one. I don't think anybody wants to buy a print of Sergio, so like, I get it. So these are the prints that I found. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments down below and I will figure out like setting up an Etsy and like how I would ship them and all that stuff. This is one of my favorite photographs of all time. I took it when I went to Montauk with Sergio. It was the main photo in my photography thesis show in college and it's just, it always makes me so, so happy. This is another one of the photos that I have printed. This one is actually the one that I have hanging over my bed, just a lot smaller. Hanging over my bed, next to the flag, blowing in the wind. <laughs> and at the moment, this is the size that I have them printed at, but I could definitely print them at the full size that I have them hanging around my house from my show because I, I think this one is just a great one to have hanging as like an art piece. I mean, is that tooting my own horn a little bit too much? Oh yes, here. This one is the one that is up there on top of my cabinets. This one does not have a sleeve for some reason, but another photograph that I adore. Who else is so excited for fall? It's finally like under 80 degrees today, so just praying that it gets colder and soon the leaves will change and everything will look like this and it'll be beautiful. I think there's only a couple more photos that I have printed. Here is another one. Here is another one that I have hanging in my house. Actually, I don't know where this one is. I think this one's my basement. And then, hey, if you want to have a creepy ghost looking image of me standing, casting a shadow, this is the photo for you. And this is the last one that I've got currently printed, but I have so, 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 so many other photographs that I'd be interested in making prints for you guys of. So let me know if you guys are interested in any of this and I could set that up. And this, this crazy man, you can probably still see him, he's over there somewhere on a bench. <laughs> he just goes, hey! And like, I accidentally made mild eye contact because I've never had somebody yell at me like that. And I walk past, and he just goes, you're too young for me. <laughs> and then I think I heard him say that ass after that. I don't know. I don't know what just happened. But, yay! So, just got my hair cut. We're gonna make this light. Just got my hair cut, feeling like a nice, fresh human again, and the wind is blowing my hair all away so you can't even see it. And the next girl that Hogan was seeing recommended us check out Madison Square Eats because we couldn't figure out what food we wanted to eat. So now we're going over to Madison Square Eats. There we go, it's not windy anymore, so you can see that my hair looks like healthy hair again at the end, and I'm very happy. So thank you, Hogan. I don't know if you ever watched my videos. Let's we'll see, gorgeous hair. Somebody just told me I got gorgeous hair, so haircut done well. Thank you, Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like nobody even acknowledged my existence on the way to the salon because I look so bad. I walk out and everyone's like, oh, gorgeous hair. And you're too young for me. And you guys see this one chunk of pink hair. So like I use this conditioner that I've mentioned before, Overtone, and it's like natural conditioner that just kind of like deposits a little bit of color to keep my hair looking kind of pinky reddish. And it only took right here this time for some reason. I don't know why, it'll wash out in the next time I wash my hair, but at the moment, I'm mostly one colored hair and then there's this. So we made it to Madison Square I don't know if we're gonna stay and eat anything, just check it out. I kind of want to like sit down in a restaurant, but I believe this is going to be like a bunch of all of those Instagrammable looking foods just as little tiny pop up shops. Look at this pizza oven they got right here. Noxious, picky New Yorker. There's all these options and nothing looks good. And I feel like normally, I feel like normally, there's usually like more things that I would want at these. There's like no desserts. That's what the problem is. Well, there's the melt ice creams and the chicken and waffle cones. That's not dessert. But I mean, I think I want something else. You're looking at the Mexican. You want Mexican so bad. <laughs> I don't feel like Mexican today. She's just staring at Frida's. But she's, she's decided to start moving forward. So I think we're gonna, I kind of almost want a burger, but I kind of also want like dessert. I had a really, really, really healthy day yesterday. Like I worked out for quite a while, got a good burn, got distracted by the song. Uh, What's the Super Bowl sleepover? There's a giant dome. I kind of don't want to walk all the way over to see what it is, but whatever that is. But then there's an ice cream truck right here. There's two ice cream trucks right here. In Italy, it's Illy, all right? My first time ever in Italy, even though I live here. And I am looking at a little, it's like a mushroom filled with truff, uh, truff, truffles, that's probably what it is. They're truffles, do you see them? They're shaped like mushrooms. So, checking out Italy, and then I think we're heading over to, I think it's called Black Iron Burger. It's like right around near where I used to work in Manhattan, and I used to walk by it every single day, and apparently they have good burgers and fries, so going there. And then maybe dessert, maybe today will be my bad day of the week. I mean, I am in Manhattan. What'd you find? Fruit. This is the chocolate that I kept getting in Italy and then I brought home like four bars of it. I think it was just the milk chocolate, but it's so expensive here. I feel like it was cheaper in Italy, but maybe it's just the conversion confusing me. Is the dollar worth more or is the... So if it was like five dollars, I feel like it was five in Italy and here it's like 12, which just, that's obnoxious. They are good baby pineapples. They're literally called baby pineapples. I like the title of this one. <laughs> like a pizza box but like a deep one and this whole backpack thing it's like a foot maybe further out from his back pocket <laughs> looks like a jetpack and he takes a step back and he bumps into me and he's like oh my god I'm sorry and as he turns to say that he ends up hitting his bike behind him and knocking over his bike and I was like wow I think I just met my soulmate <laughs> don't worry I'm happily taken but if I wasn't I think it might have 
that might be a terrible idea. Like two super klutzes like me together is just asking for us to perpetually have broken bones. I feel like I need somebody to save me from myself most of the time. I have vlogged at least one other time, possibly two other times, that I am going to Dough Donuts to get a hibiscus donut. And they constantly just close their doors in my face. It's only 5.45, so they should still be open. That's so we sold out. <laughs> sold out of the hibiscus donuts. And I came here with Danny Mansudi back in the day when I was not a vlogger just yet. I was on YouTube, but I wasn't vlogging. I believe she has it in her vlog, probably because the donuts are bigger than her head and she was surprised at American donuts. So I have gotten donuts here many a time when I used to go to college back in the day because the original Dough Donuts is in Brooklyn. It was right next to my school and I used to have to take like a different train stop so that I wouldn't walk past it every single day. So we're hopefully gonna get donuts and then we're gonna go get our burgers and we're gonna take the donuts with us and eat them after the burgers. What? We'll be fine. I was very healthy yesterday. I've walked a couple extra too many blocks today. There's dough. It looks strangely empty. Like, I'm scared to go in there and they don't have donuts again. I've never seen it full. It was full when I came here with Danny. Corchata donut. I want one. It's Mexican. <laughs> there, you'll get your Mexican in a donut. Oh. It's not Mexican. It says Mexican. Victory is ours. We wanted three hibiscus donuts and a few other flavors, so we ended up getting two boxes of six for four people, which is a lot, but it's dough and it's delicious. Made it. My mom was like whiffing at the delicious smell, so I got a Oh my god, what was it called? It was a mushroom truffle burger and it has no bacon on it. Hers had bacon on it. She already mushed it and closed it so you can't see. But this smells delicious and then I got aioli fries, also no bacon, and she got truffle fries and everything smells delicious. Look how good this looks. I won't focus on my face. It's deciding to focus on the guy behind his face. There. <laughs> so these fries. So good. It's seriously trying to focus on like his face instead of mine. These are delicious. So I feel like such a hypocrite because I just posted this photo on my Instagram. So if you guys haven't liked this one, you should go like this picture. But I just posted this and inside my belly at this actual real life moment, there's a nice burger and fries. But I just posted that. <laughs> If you come from my YouTube video, you should comment the emoji that I'm going to put up on the screen. Comment that and I'll know that you watch my YouTube videos. And not only did I just eat a burger, I've also got 12 donuts on my arm. <laughs> Hashtag Fitspo. <laughs> so my mom asked me if I had any gum or anything in my bag and I reach in and all I find are perfume sticks from Sephora. Do I have a problem? No. This is me doing my research for my perfume videos, guys. This is research. I just never threw it out. And what did you just pull out of your bag? I'm married to a dentist. <laughs> she has a Minions toothbrush. She sent a free sample. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to my friend. So I was about to end my vlog, but then I remembered I have to eat my donut on camera for you guys because I finally got my dough donut. <laughs> She has no faith in me that there's like a bush here. Like, no one has any faith in me. I am not that bad. I've only broken my foot once, all right? Like, so, got my donuts. And it is a gorgeous night right now. What is it, like 60 degrees outside? And it's just, it's not hot. It's so nice. And I have donuts waiting for me. And my shoe is coming undone. <laughs> oh, really? You're the one who tripped. <laughs> It's on, it's on camera. The stumbling sound, that's on camera. You stumbled, not me. So these are all 12 donuts that we got. I don't remember what half of their flavor names are. This one, oh boy. Nope, not even gonna do it. I just know this one's the hibiscus one. This one's like some sort of chocolate. This one's like a chocolate caramel. This was their pumpkin one. I think that was horchata. Horchata. And what was that one? Passion fruit, cinnamon sugar, dolce de leche. That's the same as that one over there. And salted caramel. No, that one was salted caramel. Mm -hmm. What's this? 
<laughs> what are you? <laughs> in the comment section down below, guys, let me know. What is your favorite flavor of donut? Obviously, you probably have never had a hibiscus donut. And if you haven't, you should check out my mom's recipe on her YouTube channel. That'll be linked in the description box down below. No, she made... No, I didn't make the hibiscus one. You did? I have a donut recipe, but I don't have a hibiscus one. My bad, guys. She just has a donut recipe, but she's posted pictures of hibiscus donuts. I'll you, make it someday. You need to make a... You've made hibiscus donuts? Why don't you have... A, Whatever. You guys should check out my mom's recipes anyway because she cooks real good and lots of recipes on there. So check that out in the description box down below and go comment on her donut video that she needs to make the hibiscus donut video so that she makes another video because she hasn't made one in quite a while. But I am going to eat this guy because oh, so good. Favorite kind of donut ever. No. I wouldn't have got a coconut one. Oh my god, I can't remember what flavor that one weird one is. <laughs> and I don't think they have on their website their flavors. Maybe chocolate mocha almond. That's what that flavor is. I had to look up on their Yelp what that flavor is. I completely forgot. So good. I have not had one of these in like, I think since I graduated. Maybe. Maybe I've had one since. I don't know. With Danny. All right, that was after I graduated. All right, so since I haven't had one of these in over a year. That was like May of last year. So I think I am going to wrap up today's vlog here. I think I'm gonna take a rest day from the gym, honestly. I think it's been 10 days straight that I've gone to the gym. And I walked a good couple miles today in Manhattan, so I think I'm, I think I'm okay. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I posted a selfie and I asked you guys for what body part you would like to see a like workout video on. I am thinking of starting a series here on my channel. Kind of, I don't want to call it like my top five moves for like your shoulders or whatever. Because I feel like top fives change all the time. But I guess I could do like current top five like glute workouts. So I asked on Instagram which body part you would like to see first. And... I feel like it was a pretty good mix of a little bit of everything, which is good because that means you guys want to see everything, which I kind of plan to do. I think the first video that I'm going to do is going to be a glute one, just because I feel like I got a lot of requests for glutes, and I mean, who doesn't love butt workouts and new butt workouts? So I need to film that, and I need to be rested for that. So I'm going to take a rest day, and then I'll probably film that tomorrow, and post that sometime in the next two weeks or so. And I hope you guys are gonna enjoy that because I've really been wanting to, sorry that like my voice is still cracking, like I'm still sick, it's so bad. Um, I've really been wanting to do more fitness related videos on YouTube. I, they're my favorite kind of videos to watch and I live for health, fitness, the gym. I'm at the gym for like minimum two hours a day. Like I live, breathe, sleep, fitness. It's just, it's what I do. And I also eat donuts as you guys just saw and burgers. Because, you know, being healthy is a lifestyle and not restriction, so my tummy is nice and happy. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. And if you guys aren't following me across all of my social media platforms already, you totally should. I always have links to them all in the description box down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos every Tuesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!